We begin in West Africa where dozens of students are reported to have been killed after Boko Haram militants attacked a school in the northeastern part of the country. Military officials told Reuters news agency that all the dead peoples were boys and that some of the bodies had been burned to ashes. Meanwhile, Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan has defended the role of the country's army against Boko Haram militants. This follows criticism and claims that the radical Islamist group was better armed than the country's military. More than 200 people people have been killed in separate attacks in Nigeria's north in the past two weeks. This prompted the governor of one of the worst affected areas, Bono State, to claim the rebels were better armed and more motivated than government forces. But the Nigerian leader thinks otherwise. When the governor of Bono State felt that the Nigerian armed forces are not useful, there is a problem Nigerians have pulled them out from Bono State for one month, whether he will stay in that in government house. Just one month. But I'll fight back to take over the state. But if it is what we've said is correct, then I'll pull out this military from Bruno State for one month. But I'll go back and take over the state. The governor should be mindful about what he says. Here there are issues. We have no reason. So no matter how frustrated you are, you don't make those kind of uh, statements. 